We interrupt your Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play to bring you Mario Kart 8. And today, we are going to be playing through the DLC that just came out today. Um, we're going to be playing through the first cup of it. So, before we begin, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And also consider checking out my Discord, Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. Links down in the description below. So... Without further ado, let's just go ahead and start. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose myself for this, because I'm cool like that. And these are all the new tracks. These are like, um, all the new ones that we have in the game so far. We have, um, there are two that came out today. We have the Golden Dash Cup and the Lucky Cat Cup. Um, the other ones are going to be coming out at different times. So, um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to play through the Golden Dash Cup. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Just got to wait for this to load real quick. Alright, so the first track of this cup is Paris Promenade, which originated in Mario Kart Tour. You know what, whoever came up with this must be a genius. I'm surprised they didn't do anything like this much sooner. Like, release a Mario Kart game where you race around real life locations. Like, seriously, that's such a good idea. Anyway, here's the um, Arc de Triomphe over here. We gotta drive around it. I right, gotta catch up to Wendy Cooper over here. Come on. Oh man. Oh, this is this has got to be my favorite section of the track. I mean, I have played a bit of this throughout the day and let's just say it's really cool. I love that part just there where you glide through the Eiffel Tower. Haha, <laughs> caught up to you, Wendy Cooper. You think you want tough cookie, but oh god, you are a tough you are a tough cookie. My bad. Never underestimate Wendy Cooper. Or I'm just going to throw a banana behind there. You know what? I should have kept that behind me in case a red shell came or something. Like, seriously, that's what I should have done. Alright, so let's just try and get around the rest of the track as well. You know, I really like the music in this track. You know, they really... The remixes are pretty good. I've noticed that for, like, all the DLC tracks that I have played in this game. Even even on the Wii U ones. Like, they really did a good job. They really did a good job, like, recreating the music. It sounds even better than the original. Ah, look at that. I've lapped everyone. I'm a beast, that's why. Haha, <laughs> take that. I mean, honestly, just check these graphics out for the track. I mean, they honestly look really cool. And also, a little comment question for you guys. What tracks do you want to see from this game be added in the future? To be honest, I want to see Moonview Highway from Mario Kart Wii. And I also want to see Waluigi Pinball as well. Because I think both of those would be really good choices. So um, let me know what tracks you want in the comments down below. Alright, so now we've got Toad Circuit from Mario Kart 7. Still looks like it did in Mario Kart Tour. I like how they are. I like how they're basing a lot of the tracks on Mario Kart Tour. I think Nintendo finally realised how bad Mario Kart Tour was doing in terms of sales. So, we, well, not sales, but you know how bad the game is overall. So we've just decided, hey, we really picked some really good tracks in that game. So, how about we just port those over to consoles? And that's what they did. So, I have a feeling, or I have a feeling a lot of the other Mario Kart Tour tracks, like the, um, 
London tour and the um, New York tour. I think that'll be added at some point. To be honest, one of the best looking tracks in Mario Kart Tour was that Vancouver one. The one with the um, Aurora Rosalina. Because I know that she came out like around the same time as that track did. So I wouldn't be surprised if he went ahead and added that track as well. So those are just my ideas for tracks in the game. Not saying they're official or anything. It's just what I want to see from the game. Anyway, we're already on our last lap. I mean, Toad Circuit is a short track and all. So it's to be expected, really. Alright, so we're almost done with the track. God damn it, Blue Shell. No. I can still win this. I can still win this. I have faith. Yes. Oh, yeah. Comeback of the century. Without a doubt, the best comeback of the 21st century right there. Like, seriously. Alright, next race. Let's see what our third track is. All right, so now we have Choco Mountain from Mario Kart 64. All right, this was actually a pretty hard track in the original. And from what I have played, it seems like they have improved. It seems like they've improved quite a bit. And also, this remix slaps. I mean, just listen to that. I mean, it just sounds so, so cool. Anyway, just got to catch up to Inkling Boy over here. Oh god, that was close. A boulder almost fell on me and crushed me. I love how there's signs on the rocks now. I mean, I didn't notice that there before. Oh, freaking Red Shell. Imagine if that had happened on the last lap, because that would have that would have stunk. All right, haha! -ha, take that, inkling boy. Go back to Splatoon. You don't even belong in Mario Kart. Oh, God, red, red shells. Seriously. All right, red shells can be annoying at times. The only time they're not annoying is when you're really far ahead in first and you get hit by one. It's literally no big deal. But other than that, they can be pretty annoying. I don't like when you get hit by like one item after another. Like, you could, for example, you could get hit by a red shell and then a blue shell comes and then you run into a banana. I mean... That's happened to me on numerous occasions. You know, I've noticed stuff like that happening as well. Like, a shock comes and then a um, red shell comes. Uh, I mean, a shock or a red shell at the same time as a blue shell. And it minimizes the effect of the blue shell. Which is, which is kind of cool, actually. I mean, I'm not saying that I still didn't get hit by anything, but it minimized the effect of the blue shell, so that's one thing. Anyway, we just about made second. We didn't do particularly great in that one, but let's see if we can redeem ourselves with the last track. So, if you're wondering when the um, Lucky Cat Cup's going to come out, well, I mean, it's out now, but when my video on it is going to be out, it's going to be out tomorrow. So, you're just going to have to wait until then. So, um, now we've got Coconut Mall, a fan favourite. To be honest, I had a feeling that this would... I had a feeling that this would come back. I mean, in Mario Kart 9 I did, because I did... I was so surprised when I found out they were releasing Mario Kart 8 DLC 
five years, five years later. Like, like seriously. I mean, it took them long enough. You'd think they would have done this like about three years ago. But still, better late than never. I guess that's good. I guess, I guess that's all right. You know, it's been ages since this game's had any updates. You know what? To be honest, I think the last update was um when they added the um champion link as a skin for Link. They added the Breath of the Wild costume. And to be honest, this Coconut Mall remix slaps. I mean, I've waited for this DLC for over a month now, and let's just say it has been, it has been worth it so far. And just to let you guys know, you guys can get this DLC for free if you have a Switch Online expansion pack membership. Like I do, for example. So I didn't have to pay for this. There's a um, DLC for Animal Crossing as well. There's the Happy Home Paradise. You can get that for free as well if you have a Switch Online expansion. Oh, I thought that was the last lap. But anyway, it looks like we got one more. So yeah, as I was saying before, I had a feeling Coconut Mall would return. So, when this was like revealed in the Nintendo Direct, I love how Coconut Mall was like the first thing they shown. I think they I think they just realized that Coconut Mall was a fan favorite track and everyone wanted it to return. And I am happy about that. Another thing I noticed about this is that the cars don't move. I mean, it kind of removes like one of the most exciting parts of the track, but you know the tracks it the tracks are annoying. And also it's shy guys driving the cars now instead of me's. Anyway, let's view the results. Let's see how we did in this burly brawl of a Grand Prix. Alright, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, really, I had a feeling it would have been um, the um, Paris Promenade that I would have done the best in because um, me constantly being... Caught up by Wendy Cooper. I was like neck and neck with her. Almost. So we got first, first, second, first. I think that's pretty good. And we got a two star rank. We got 2,800 coins. And a new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. So before I go ahead and end the episode. I'm just going to go and find out what that is real quick. You know, one of the confusing things about this game is that there's no, like, specific order in which you unlock car parts. You just unlock a random one. So, I just unlocked the Sports Coupe, or Coupe, or however however the hell you pronounce it. But anyway, guys, that's just going to be the end of today's episode. I'll be back tomorrow with the um, Lucky Cat Cup. So, um, until then, that's going to be the end of the episode. And be sure to check out my Discord, Twitch, and Twitter in the description. And also be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.